<laughs> all right hey you guys um please don't mind me this is more like a disclaimer than me acting silly even though I really was acting silly but there's somebody like having a party behind my house and they keep playing blurred lines over and over and over again so I just felt like dancing to it for a minute but if you hear it in my review I'm truly sorry it's not my fault but let's get on to the review all right hey you guys it is Sulaki Soyeg and I'm coming to you with an interview of Attack on Titan episode 23 cannot remember the name of it right this moment I believe it's Smile but I will put it somewhere in this general area like I normally do but yeah um pretty much this episode is pretty freaking awesome because we finally see even though if you've already read the manga you already know who the female titan is but we finally see who the female titan is finally after like what like 13 or so episodes maybe but yeah uh so episode starts off they're talking about um, them coming back when well it picks up where the last one left off at where they show like the survey corpse coming back to um coming back to the city and pretty much long story short um they show Annie like waking up and she pretty much just looks exhausted I guess is the best word I can put for it but um they show her and they're talking and then they have this little spiel about um, Marlo wanting to change the military police because they're so corrupted, which is true, but all of them are pretty much corrupted. Everybody's corrupted in a way, if you think about it that way, but they're just being human, like Annie said. But yeah, um, then it comes to the part where they, like their commander tells them that they have to watch the survey corpse as they come through the city because they're supposed to go to talk to the monarchy and pretty much Aaron is possibly going to get dissected or whatever but they while they're like guarding the survey corpse Annie hears like a whisper well she hears her name called from the alleyway and she runs down the alley and there's Armin and he's like in a green like cloak type thing with his maneuver gear like um concealed so they won't know that it's him and he pretty much asked Annie to help him and Mikasa get Aaron through well Cena well not well Cena get Aaron to the I guess the castle so that way he won't get killed because if she doesn't help them then he'll end up getting killed so they pretty much make this whole elaborate scheme to like get Aaron away and pretty much long story short they trap Annie and Mikasa comes out and is like um I'm tired of hearing all this crap because Annie wouldn't go underground to help them get to the other end of the city and Mikasa was like I'm tired of this crap female titan and then Annie just kind of like went crazy and it was like really creepy smile like I don't know it was it kind of it gave me goosebumps it was kind of weird but yeah then um everybody like there were people hiding like on rooftops and behind buildings and then out of nowhere when Armin shot off the flare everybody just like popped up out of nowhere it looked like people were doing parkour or whatever but it looked pretty cool if I do say so myself but yeah um he was right out of nowhere and like held down Annie and they show a part where she's talking to Armin, she puts a ring on her finger, which should have gotten everybody's attention because when they all tackled her, she couldn't bite herself because they put like a cloth over oil in her mouth so she couldn't talk or anything. So she flicks up her, like she puts up her finger and flicks out this little like blade type thing and cuts her thumb and turns into the female titan. So... I guess that pretty much answers everybody's question for those who haven't read the manga. But I know it's so sad. I'm gonna cry when episode 25.5 comes out because that's gonna be the last episode in the series for a while. It's gonna be very sad. But I am gonna start reviewing the mangas too because the manga is pretty awesome. But yeah. 
Um, we find out that Annie is a female titan, which I already knew about because I do read the manga, but it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Um, so in the next couple of episodes, well, I already know what's going to happen because I do read the manga and I don't want to spoil it, but I would love to hear what y'all think is going to happen, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, the storyline was pretty short this episode, but it's still pretty awesome because they finally show that Annie is the female titan because most everybody already had their suspicions, and if you couldn't tell from looking at the female titan, you could tell that it was Annie if you paid attention, but yeah, um... I think that's pretty much it so please remember to comment rate and subscribe and as always this is a subakashwarag saying adios